I started my very own Fantasy Drum Corps League, and you can play in it too. For those of you not familiar with fantasy sports, the gist of it is you draft individual players from all around the league, and you create your very own team with those players. And your players will get points for doing certain good things, and then you get your overall score. Yes, I am an enjoyer of sports and athletics, as you can see by my t-shirts. Merch plug, go buy this t-shirt so you let people know that you like sports. This Fantasy Drum Corps League works similar to how fantasy fantasy sports works as you can see from this spreadsheet this is sort of the uh, scoring recap slash roster in the drum corps international circuit there are eight different judging captions so for these fantasy drum corps the way this works is you draft a actual drum corps that you place into those specific judging captions so my fantasy drum corps is carmen heights obviously and i have cavaliers on ge1 blue coats ge2 blue devils visual proficiency blue coats visual analysis blue stars color guard Blue Devils Brass, Mandarin's Music Analysis, and Cadets Percussion. A very solid lineup there. And I am currently in first place in my league. Let's go. Although I'm only 0.5 above the uh, Sugar Bush Sugar Daddies. There's nothing worse than having a bunch of Sugar Daddies right behind you. And I'll explain how all those scores work in a little bit, but first we're going to do a bit of a, a mock draft so I can teach you guys exactly how this is done so you can play it yourself. So we're going to do a, just a little small league here with four teams. We got Linda, Lil Peanuts, Steven Sassafras the sixth and masked guy. Okay, so I got uh, two different windows open here. This is what we call the waiver wire, as in the players that are undrafted so far. This is all 32 competing drum cores from this year, ranked in order of each category based on their performance in prelims last year. In this imaginary league, Linda, she gets first draft pick. She is going to take Cavaliers Percussion because she knows that they have been crushing it. We're going to go Go ahead and copy and paste that over here however i think that would be a terrible first pick not because the cavaliers percussion isn't doing great but because we should go off of the actual stats of the captions general effect is 40 percent of the score visual and music they're each 30. so it would uh, be a little bit wise to maybe uh, try to get your general effect groups in first so we'll move on to little peanut and we'll pretend that little peanut has no clue about drum corps he has not seen any shows this year so he is just gonna go completely based off of the rankings from last year and he'll just go in order we'll pick blue devil's general effect honestly that is probably the best decision he could make moving on to steven sassafras the sixth his first pick is going to be music city percussion because they are the only drum line that has a flub drum section and while i'm sure all of us have our favorite cores that we'd like uh, it might be best to keep your emotions out of your decision you want to you know focus on the cold hard numbers now we're going to mass guy we'll pretend that mass guy has been up to date has researched all of drum core this year and he knows exactly what he's doing with the draft here so his first pick is going to be carolina crown general effect and he's going to put them in the ge2 slot which ge1 is visual focus ge2 is music focus and then uh, with fantasy drafts you go uh you draft down in order and then back up in the opposite order so mass guy gets to pick twice in a row and he's gonna go with boston crusaders general effect now we're back to steven sassafras and he is going to go with blue knights percussion because they have a very cool bass drum feature where they blow air into the drum to change the pitch This is another poor decision by Steven. He already has a percussion, so this second percussion is not going to be scored. They're going to go on, uh, this is the bench over here, which the bench basically means you can substitute somebody in and replace people, depending on who's scoring better. But it makes no sense to pick a second percussion this early. I'm trying to demonstrate what not to do here. And then we're back to Lil Peanut. He's once again, we're just going to go with one of the top groups. He'll pick Blue Devils Music Analysis. He's going to attempt to sweep the whole thing with Blue Devils, which wouldn't be a bad strategy strategy at all if you can pull it off and now we're back to linda and linda is big brain here okay she knows that general effect while it has a few of the top groups taken already she doesn't want to get too many of them taken before she gets to two so she's gonna pick a blue coats general effect and that's the gist of how this draft works so i'm just gonna fast forward and go through all the rounds and there we go the final results of this imaginary league draft 
Okay, now that that's done, we are going to do some scoring here. So the way I've been doing it for my league is every Sunday, I've been just taking the most recent score because most scores compete on Saturdays. But right now, today, I'm recording this on a Tuesday. So we'll just go off of whatever the most recent show was, which was this one in Salem. Some cores were at that. So we're just going to view the full recap. So I'm going to first check the Carolina Crown scores here. So uh, we got Carolina Crown Brass. They got 19. Visual analysis. You got us that one. 18.7. Very nice. And yeah, basically, I just have to find all these drum cores, most recent scores, and just input the data in. Uh, so I'm going to do that real quick. Here's a time lapse, and bam! Those are the scores for the Fantasy Fantasy League. Lil Peanut! came away sweeping every caption. But as I suspected, Steven Sassafras came in last because he just drafted his favorite drum cores instead of strategizing. But I thought Mask Guy was gonna do a lot better. I guess uh, I still don't know how to strategize this. It's all up to chance for the most part. Well, at least I knew how to strategize in real life because I have been crushing it the whole season. Broke 90 for the first time in week four. Every single week I came in first place. Week three, first place. Week two, First place, week one, first place. I'm good at drum core. So the way that I'm coming up with these numbers here for the total score of the season, I made up this rule book here of how we do uh, all of what I just talked about and the scoring. This is how the DCI sheet works, Is this is how you mathematically add all that up. But what we're doing is we're averaging the score from each week based off of these percentages. So basically what that means is the earlier shows matter less than the later shows. Right now I've got a 86.765 and I'm looking to increase that number and stay in the lead. And I've got to say, this is probably the most invested I've been in the DCI scoring recap ever in my whole life, even more so than when I was marching. And I am already looking into having an app designed to make this whole process uh, not as tedious with inputting numbers every single week. So hopefully I'll have that available for next year. But for now, if you want to participate and have a little draft of your own for finals, or even if you want to do this week coming up at Allentown, I have all of this linked down in the description. You can copy paste all these spreadsheets information and do your own draft and play and win or lose. But this isn't the only fantasy drum corps league that's available. There is uh, this, uh, Fantasy Marching Arts, which is entirely different than what I came up with. For this, you basically start your own group from scratch and everything is completely make-believe and made up. So I started the Carmen Heights Drum Corps, and you could also do Marching Band, Color Guard, and Drum Line. That's too much of a commitment for me to do all that right now. So we'll check out the stats here. Carmen Heights, we are... We're in 24th place of Division Three. Yeah, we're uh, pretty terrible. Our highest score was a 48.175. Oh my goodness, dude. We're not in last, though, so I, I guess uh, that's... That's something. <laughs> So I'll go back to the scores in a second, but this is how you actually do shows. It's just, uh, we have this whole schedule, uh, filled with different shows that are being hosted by other people. And I am hosting my own show. It's coming up. The EMC Productions Spectacular. And we have a spectacularly crappy turnout. There's only two drum cores, uh, myself and the Corsairs. Imagine if in real life a show had just two drum cores and one of them was horrible. I don't think anyone would go. Right now we got 77 audience members somehow. But anyways, uh, back to this. So the way uh, this works is, so I got all these stats and stuffs. Uh, so you come on here periodically and you go to rehearsal. We're going to grind it out. We're going to practice. So these are like the statistics of uh, all the judging captions. And the goal is to make these numbers higher. So I have 540 energy. I think this just replenishes after the last time I do all this. So let's do some full ensemble rehearsal. You gotta have music and visual. Always gotta go with that. So as you can see there, my general effect scores went up in all these captions. Looks like my worst thing is visual performance. So to fix that, yeah, this should, yeah, that raises it up. We'll add another one for good measure. 
And uh, now my percussion is the weakest. Oh, we can't have that. Let's rehearse some percussion stuffs. And now we only have seven energy, so that's all we can do. And then I got $3,970. I think I can hire some staff members. This also creates higher numbers over here. I think I can hire a percussion caption head and a either wind or color guard caption head. Uh, right now my music wind score is the lowest thing out of everything, so we'll, we'll just hire a wind caption head. Well, we got everything over a thousand, so hopefully uh, my scores will go up. There's no way I'm catching up to these people though. It's basically the longer you've been doing this and like actively clicking those things, the, the better your group is gonna be. And we are in season number 114. The seasons are five weeks long and it's almost over already. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty neat and all, but I definitely like my league setup uh, more than this one. I just think it's more competitive from like a head-to-head -head standpoint. Like every week my friends and I were just like going back and forth trying to figure out how to pass each other. It's pretty fun. And like I said, it's gotten me into the DCI scoring system much more this year. And that is a good thing, I suppose. If you want to hear me talk some more about DCI shows, you can click this video right here. And have a good morning.